crew. What's going on, man? Top of the morning to everybody. What's going on, man? How y'all doing, man? We're here. Some chick. What's up, man? Still out here in DC. Thank you so much, AMV. What's up, California Grown? Boy, y'all popping in here fast. So good morning to everybody, man. How y'all doing? It's early morning out here. Just want to get up early and give a shout out to everybody who came to the rally yesterday, man. The rally was a huge success yesterday, man. I got to thank everybody who participated, man. It was a phenomenal, phenomenal turnout. Um, beautiful, beautiful rally, man. Everybody was phenomenal. The speakers were phenomenal. Um, the crowd, man, it was all love. It was a beautiful, beautiful, historic event, ladies and gentlemen. If you were not here, you missed something phenomenal. You missed being a part of history. That was the first time in history um, we had, or anybody had a, a reparations march or rally that large. You understand what I'm saying, family? That was history right there. So all the people who came yesterday, I have to thank you for creating history. That was a historic moment. What's up, man? Shout out to you in the Middle East. Shout out to you, brother, over there doing the good work for your, your homeland, man. Shout out to you. Phenomenal turnout, man. And folks were sitting up here trying to doubt us like we weren't gonna really pull this thing off. It was a phenomenal thing, man. All the speakers were phenomenal. I gotta give a shout out to Dr. Boyce Watkins, Dr. Kaba Kamene, Professor James Small, um, Dr. Randy Short, he was phenomenal. Our brother from LA, he spoke, Dwan B. Shout out to brother Raheem Shabazz. Um, Teslin was phenomenal. Um, my my co-host, Sister Jade. Jade was phenomenal, as always. Um, Dr. Mayat. Phenomenal as always. Um, and shout out to Greg Marcel Dixit. He really shut the thing down. Greg was spitting real hot fire. Marcel was getting it in. Like I said, I'm gonna make sure that brother Marcel gets elected. That's our that's one of our grassroots candidates down there in South Carolina. We're gonna make sure that brother gets into office somehow, some way down there. Man. So it was it was a phenomenal event, man. It was phenomenal. What's up, um, Dunn? So, yeah, we needed that, man. We needed that energy. And shout out to Revolt TV. They covered a lot of it. Um, so you guys are going to see the footage in a couple of days. We're editing everything now. Nice, high quality. It's a great, great event, man. You know, we like to overextend the expectation. That's one thing we like to do. People were... They were surprise their expectations were were exceeded the expectations were exceeded we like to exceed the expect expectations man they like oh but this is very well put together this nice professional of course and man we had around three thousand people out there do y'all know around three thousand people at least between i would say at minimum it was 2500 minimum but some of the estimates are coming in some people are saying it might have been 3500 i'm saying between 2500 and 3000 people most likely it was around 3,000 people. It was a lot of people out there yesterday. There was a lot of people out there yesterday. Oh, what's my driver doing? And I, I met so many wonderful brothers and sisters, man. It's a phenomenal. And, and that kind of inspired me to want to put together another event. You know what I'm thinking, man? I want to do an event where we can focus on some of the brothers and sisters in the community who's doing stuff. Um, when we did the FBA conference, we focused a lot on the the businesses that were around the country. We had different vendors come in and just kind of showcase what they had going on. I want to do more of that. Um, let's brainstorm, family. Let's throw some ideas around on how we can have a conference or some type of event where we can emphasize some of the brothers and sisters around the country. They can come and showcase some of the things that they're doing business-wise. You know what I'm saying? We really, we got some phenomenal brothers and sisters out here, man, who are doing great things, but a lot of folks don't know about it. So this is why we have to start networking. Um, we have to, we got to network, man, so we can know who's who around the country. We got to get off the internet and just get out here and just talk to the family, man. You will learn so much by just talking to people. Y'all saw the video clip of the little eight-year-old girl, man. That, 
little girl is phenomenal. Little eight year old girl, she's an entrepreneur, has her own products out, little articulate girl. People like that, we have to cultivate them and protect them and promote them and let people know who these children are and, and make sure that they get the support from the, commun the community that they need. Oh, you got some great pictures? Yeah, send me some pictures, man. Send me some of the pictures you have. Yeah, send me some of the pictures you have. Yeah. But I want to start showcasing um, some of you guys, man. Some of you brothers and sisters in the community that's doing real phenomenal stuff. Yeah. Got the early, yeah, yeah, the crowd was shot up. Yeah, the, the, the crowd got, it starts swelling up pretty early. Shout out to Connecticut. And people were driving in from everywhere, man. People were driving in from Detroit, driving in from Chicago. I'm like, like how come y'all didn't vibe? They're like, hey, we just wanted the road trip. They're driving in from Miami. So yeah, people came from all over, man. It was a beautiful thing. Yeah, you had to be there. What's up, sold by, by uh, Marvin? Yeah, man, the vibe was real good. Yeah, say the haters are mad. Of course. Of course. What's up, Nail Tages? Did you come, Nail Tages? What's up, Miss Love? To make it annual? Yeah, we got to do something, man. I really want to do something now. You know, because we got to keep that same energy. Got to keep that same vibe and just keep, you know, keep it focused on the community. Usually when there's um, conventions or certain things where there's large mass get-togethers, usually it's sponsored by you know, some outside organization and there's an agenda attached to it. You dig? They'll have a fish fry. Tell everybody to come out for the fish fry, but if we give you this fish, you're gonna have to vote Democrat. You know, so there's an agenda. And I want something where there ain't no outside agenda. I just want us to be, to come among each other with a positive agenda so that we can promote the positives within the community and we can promote people who are doing constructive things so that we know about them so that we can do business with them i love doing business with brothers and sisters who got shit popping when i go to cities man i look for brothers and sisters who got it popping so i can do business with them so we really got to keep that 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 vibe up um un unfortunately our brother reza didn't make it he has some kind of family emergency shout out to reza we're going to get him on the next event where reza didn't make it yesterday Yeah. Well, yesterday would be a million man march. Yeah. And you know what's interesting, man? We organized that. Look, the the turnout yesterday, like what, 3,000 people? Dude, we got that popping within weeks. We didn't really get the date and the location. We only got that within the last few weeks. We've been planning a rally. We've been talking about doing a rally since January, and we were going to do it in October, but there was so much red tape going on. So a company reached out to me, a brother named Jesse, who owns a company called City Permits. And they specialize in just cutting through the red tape and getting to the nitty gritty as far as getting permits. So they reached out to me about three weeks ago. And they were like, hey man, we can, get, we can get this for you, man. Don't worry about it. So really, in all actuality, we got this organized within three weeks. We did, we got this popping just like this in three weeks, family. And remember, we didn't, people didn't even know the location until two weeks ago, all right? People didn't know the location until two weeks ago, all right? Yeah, Brother Marcel was phenomenal, man. That's why, you know, we were, we we're really putting the spotlight on that brother. Oh yeah, yeah, shout out to my DC barber. They gave me a DC barber. Look, oh, he hooked me up. That brother, oh, he hooked me up. It's a brother named Mel the Barber, FBA brother. <laughs> he, he's actually from South Carolina. Mel the Barber, he's in D.C. now. South Carolina brother, he cuts a lot of celebrities. And a lot of celebrities who come to D.C., he cuts their hair. This brother is the truth. FBA brother. Oh, yeah, shout out to Connie Collins. Connie Collins did a phenomenal job. Connie Collins did a phenomenal job on the stage and behind the scenes. She did a phenomenal job helping to get everything organized. What's up, um, Cape Town, South Africa? Shout out to you guys, man. Much love to you guys. I got to get back out there and chop it up with you guys. I really want to get out there to the UK, man. We're working to see what they're doing with the band, you know, because y'all know I'm banned from going out there. So we got to lift that band. I really want to go to the UK. I really miss vibing with the UK brothers. 
brothers and sisters out there. They got some phenomenal brothers and sisters out there in the UK. You got some riders out there, so I really want to get back out there and chop it up with them. Yeah. Look for yeah, yeah. Um, and I've been looking at some of the footage because at the event yesterday, um, a lot of stuff that was going on on stage, I didn't really hear because I was backstage taking care of so much stuff. You know, I was producing. I was producing the event, so I'm taking care of all the the little knickknacks and stuff behind the scenes so I didn't really get to hear a lot of stuff that was actually going on on stage but when I look back at the footage I mean even the speeches were just completely phenomenal people were spitting hot fire man so I can't wait for you guys to see the high quality footage of it yeah I cannot wait so yeah I'm, I'm, I'm glad everybody really really enjoyed it so to organize another million man march you know if I wanted to I could do that we, we could do a million man march. I could do that. If we did this, we got all those people to come within a matter of weeks. If we say, hey, we're going to do a million man march in a year. And I just have a whole year to organize it. I can 100% do that. But, you know, I don't know. I, that, that's going to take a lot of work. And I, I could do other things. I don't have to do anything like that I, if I wanted to. But I'm, you know, I got other things that I want to do. You know, I got other... Look, let me tell you something. Uh, we got pictures of they had hitters on the roofs all around us yesterday. All right. Look, some of y'all were there, y'all know. And we got pictures. I put some pictures on my Instagram. They had hitters all on the all on the federal buildings. <laughs> they had hitters on the roofs all around. All right. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was definitely a few thousand people. Yeah. Oh yeah, and uh, yeah, we got pictures of them. We got pictures of them. So you know, we we bring them another million people talking about tangibles. You know, you know, you know, it's gonna really be hitters all around. But it's all good. I ain't even tripping on that. We already knew what what that was gonna be. We already knew. And again, it was a peaceful, productive, constructive rally. So it was all good. Yeah, real talk. Many people said it was at least 3,000 or, or more. But yeah, it was got to be like 3,000 people. It was packed up there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was up there deep. And it was good to see families up there, man. A lot of black families together. A lot of um, brothers were bringing their wives and children. A lot of families up there. That was a real good vibe. No, I didn't Warnock, I didn't see Warnock out there. And shout out to the family. Yeah, that little girl was amazing. There you gotta go to the next. Yeah, you missed it. You gotta go to the next one. But we're gonna have something else, man. We're gonna have something. I'm just trying to think of what we're gonna have next. Well, the movie's coming out in a couple of months. The new movie America Maroon. But that's different. That's because that's that's gonna be in, in theaters all around the country. But as far as uh a, a main event we want to put something else together i'm just trying to figure out what to do and where to have it um because we're going to need a real big venue so we'll probably do something else in atlanta possibly new york because new york is a good place to have events so we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out even chicago we might need to do something in chicago because chicago is a central location where everybody can go to so we'll, we'll think about something How about that? <laughs> What's up, Lex? I have something in um, Nevada. Eh, Vegas gets a little packed. It, Vegas gets a little too packed. But Vegas would be nice, though. Vegas would be nice because everybody would come to Vegas. You know, Vegas is um, a popular place for events. So, yeah. What's up, Taz? What's up, Miss Love? Now, now I want to see um, how Roland and those guys are going to try to spin it. Now I want to see how Roland and those cats are going to try to spin the event. How they? What's up, Sincere? Love? 
a live black business showcase event. Yeah, something like that would be fly. But yeah, I want to see how rolling in those guys. I'm trying to spin it. All those people out there. Y'all could have had a, a, a voter registration and all that bullshit. <laughs> so yeah, they're going to be hating this week. What's up, Ricky? Yeah, the energy was on point, man. What's up, um, Gladys? Thank you so much, Miss Gladys. And thank I thank y'all for the gifts. A lot of people got me gifts. People brought mambo sauce, Goya powder. People got books. Somebody bought me a damn bunk cake. All right. Yeah. So people bringing a bunch of stuff. T-shirts. A whole bunch of stuff. And shout out to D.C., man. D.C. is phenomenal, man. I love the, the brothers and sisters in their vibe here in D.C. Yeah. yeah. The vibe out here in D.C. is phenomenal. You asked Roland, was he attending? Oh, you know, Roland's going to curse you out, dude. What's up, Tasha? You were there, Tasha? That's what's happening. Oh, yeah, you interviewed the eight-year-old girl. Yeah, that little girl was phenomenal, man. Yeah, that little girl was phenomenal. We're in here heavy right now. So yeah, man, I'm glad everybody enjoyed it, man. We just got to keep up that momentum and keep stuff popping like that. And just, you know, demand tangibles, man. We got to stand strong, man, because um, we're being attacked in the media as what we've seen being done with our brother Kyrie. They're trying to make an example out of our brother, man. And they're using him to try to get everybody else in line. You know, I want y'all to know what's happening with Kyrie Kyrie is being used as a proxy. Kyrie is being used as a proxy for all of us. They're just making an example out of him to get all of us in place. You dig? They're making, they're trying to whip him around and, and make him bow down. Did y'all see the list of demands that they gave him in order for him to be able to play ball again? They put out a list talking about if he wants to play basketball, he has to, um, meet up with some Jewish leaders, um, go to some sensitivity training. He has to denounce that movie that's on Amazon. This is some damn Kunta Kente bullshit. What the hell are they talking about? This is Kunta Kente talk. You, you did? And even if he did it, because they're telling him, oh, you got to apologize, you got to apologize. And then he, he basically apologized. And then they start talking about, well, his apology don't seem sincere. Ah, okay, get the hell out of here. Yeah, that, that's buck breaking. Yeah, Frankie, yeah, we know. We know some, some of the haters were there trying to clout chase. Yeah, some of the haters. And, and notice nobody was really paying attention to some haters, were they? The haters were out there trying to get some attention and nobody was paying attention to them. Yeah? That's how effective haters are. Haters don't move no needles, man. The haters do not move the needle at all. Yeah? The West Coast, right? Um, no, no, the vibe was good out there, man. The vibe was real good out there. What's up, dear? Yeah, the vibe was real good. Yeah, yeah. If it was planned it, it, earlier, if we had gotten everything together earlier, it would have, you know, it would have been more. Th What's up, Tesla? How are you, dear? Tes, what time are you flying out, dear? Oh, yeah, Tes, how, how was the the spot last night? Hold on, let me get Tes on here. I don't know if you, you got your clothes on and everything. Hold on. Yes, real quick. Where you at, Tess? Tess might not be where she is. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm at the airport now, actually. Oh, oh cool, cool. cool. Yeah, what good, time morning. Is, good morning. How was the, the spot last night? Oh, it was really cool. Really nice little vibe. Um, upstairs, downstairs. Uh, got a chance to hang with the family. So many brothers. 
you know, um, saying, you know, I didn't think, because one of the things I thought about in my speech was, regardless of your background, you know, skeletons, your closet, whatever it is that you can really run for office. So I was really encouraged that people came up and said, you know, I feel like I can do something now. So that made me feel a real good because some of the haters didn't like that I said that on the stage. Um, but um, no, real cool vibe, cool spot, cool band. We stayed there for a good while. And after that, we went and got something to eat with our brother Afro Elite. So we stayed at the um, restaurant probably till like three or four in the morning. Oh, damn. Y'all were out. Now. Yeah, we was out, out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that was oh, yeah. real cool. And headed on That's back to the to now. But congratulations again, brother. I am so very proud of you. They don't have to like it, but they got to respect it. And thank you. Make sure you reiterate that that literally was in two weeks, two or three weeks that this was put together. And so yeah. it was just a phenomenal event. And I hope uh, to see you do more. And thank you for allowing me an opportunity um, to be a part of this. I'm, I'm very humble and grateful for the opportunity. Yes, uh, indeed. We're going to put together another big event. We're trying to figure out where, and I'm going to have you a part of that as well. So I'm going to keep you posted on that, beloved. And see, you got me in trouble. Let me say this, because some of the haters didn't like that I said double cheeked up. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> but they don't know that this, they don't know that I said that because of what you said a month yeah. ago. And it was an inside joke. So people, you know, I, it's, it's so amazing how miserable people are. They try to nitpick the smallest things out of that whole 20 minutes that I talked about the Bible and, you know, moving forward and believing in yourself and pushing a the line. They had to find those couple little things to nitpick. But uh, but at the end of the day, I'm not going to apologize for being cheeked up because I am cheeked up. So, <laughs> but, <laughs> but serious note, though. <laughs> Oh, the serious note, okay. people don't like it, then just like like what I say, look at me on TV then from the chest up. You know, look at listen to what it is that's coming out of my mouth. But no, you got me in trouble for that one because I was referring to what you said. And so people don't like that on the internet. But like you said, they're just wasting time. So Exactly. Don't even trip on them. All right. Mm -hmm. well, all right, but you right, have a safe you. trip. You yeah. landed my plane? Are you landing yes, my plane? Yeah, I'm about, to, I'm, I'm about to get on my plane in a minute. I'm about to go down about to hit the airport. And yeah, you you get I gotta land your plane. You you get long winded too. I do get long winded. <laughs> okay, peace. All right, dear. Bye. That's my girl, Tez. I love Tez. Oh man. Yes, indeed. Uh, yeah, Jason Black was there. I didn't see him, but yeah, Jason Black was there. Shout out to Jason Black. Yeah, shout out to Jason Black. I would have. I would. Jason could have put on a mask and got on stage and said something. That would have been cool. <laughs> you know, that would have been cool. But um, yeah, yeah, we got that together. We got all that popping in like three weeks, to be honest. We got all that popping in about three weeks. You know, what's up, Jade? Let me get Jade in here. Let's get Miss Lioness Crown in here. Oh, oh, I can't go live with you, Jade. I don't know why it's doing that, okay? It's not letting me. Jade, try sending a request. I don't know. Instagram is tripping. Instagram be tripping. Man. And some of the speakers, don't worry about what some of those people in those hater Twitter spaces are saying. Let me tell y'all something, man. Um, y'all have to understand, because I've, I've heard a couple of the little hater comments. All of their arguments are in bad faith, man. All of their arguments are in bad faith. They're never going to congratulate us. Whatever you do, then it's never going to be, hey, man, you guys did a phenomenal job. It's always they're going to find a, a, a level to spin it on and hate every time. I don't even address no damn haters, especially the ones arguing in bad faith. Because it's there's never going to be an agreement ever, ever, ever. Everything. They're not arguing in good faith. They're not arguing for clarity. They're just saying shit to be saying shit. They're saying shit for the purpose of hating. No matter what you do, it, it, everything will be a contradiction. If they say, hey, man, how come you ain't out here feeding the kids? All right, you go feed the kids. Man, how come you gave them kids some chicken wings? You know, chicken wings ain't good for kids. I just gave the kids some cereal. You know cereal has high fructose corn syrup. How come you get it? It never stops. Man, the last thing you do is try to appease a hater. <laughs> That's a, a losing sport. Let me tell you something. Just acknowledging a hater is a loss because 
any form of attention you give them is a win. Any form of attention you give their bullshit narratives is a win. Because that's all it's about with them. They want attention that you get. You did? That's all it's about. They want attention that you're getting. So we should do a rally every six months. Yeah, yeah but the event was popping, man. People loved it. People loved it. Carolina all day. Shout out to Carolinas. I wanted to get Jade on here, but it's not letting me allow her on here. Yeah, they hooked me up with the mumbo sauce. How come it's not letting me get Jade on here? Jade, I want to get you on here. Let's see. Okay. It says Jade needs to update her app to be... I tried to put you on as a moderator. I don't know. Instagram, everybody, you're going to have to update. I guess there's a new update for Instagram. And yeah, I updated mine the other day. South Carolina in the house. Shout out to South Carolina. Yeah, D, you should have been there. It was a great vibe. You would have loved it. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was hot as hell yesterday. Now it's raining. It's raining in D.C. right now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, that dude was up there, um, the hater flailing around, doing all of that, <laughs> gesticulating and you know, talking loud, trying to bring attention to himself, you know, flailing around with all of those hitters on the roofs. You, you understand? You better understand. And, and luckily, nobody was paying attention to no hater. They knew not to pay attention to no hater. Yeah. What's up, Calm Down? Thank you so much, brother. What's up, JT Era? Oh, about the airport now. All right. I'm about to hit this airport, ladies and gentlemen. All right, but anyway, man, I thank everybody who came out yesterday, man. Much respect to you guys. Um, you guys can still show appreciation at the Rally for Reparations um, website. For those who were not able to make it, you can um, go to rallyforreparations.com. That's rallyforreparations.com. Get your T-shirt, man. Get a T-shirt. Go order your T-shirt. You can still make a donation there to show appreciation, to help us offset the, the cost of putting together such a phenomenal event because it was all from the soil, man. We didn't get no corporate sponsorships or nothing. And we put it together as if it was a corporately sponsored event. We put it together and it made it comparable to what you see big dogs doing. So everything from the community is greatly appreciated. But at least get you a shirt, man. Go to Rally4, the number four, reparations.com and get you a t-shirt and uh, represent, ladies and gentlemen. All right? I'm up out of here, man. Y'all be good. Y'all be good. Up your Kute Lillavu.